Boom. What up, Solar Renekton? Only really here back doing some more League of Legends action. Playing some Darius in the top lane. We're going to be getting some Raptor Cloak action. <coughs> kind of do like more of a, I don't know, educational style. It's going to be kind of like a standard build here. It's just going to be like a Raptor Cloak early game. Maybe a little bit of magic resist. So this is going to be Q poking the crap out of me. At least that's what he's going to attempt to do. He doesn't want to farm though. I thought he was going to go for that CS. He's going to run Oom before he pokes me out. I have Doran's shield, so if I hit 1Q on him, I'm good. There we go. <laughs> I hit the 1Q. Whoops. There we go. So on Darius, if you ever have like a trouble early game, there's a god tier item that you can get. And I'll show you. It's this one. You can go right into your ZZ Rot. Both items in the ZZ Rot will help you, right? So say I'm against a magic damage opponent that's destroying me, and Merc Treads aren't going to be very valuable. I could always just go into the mag or no magic mantle, grab this. Oh wait, no, no, that's a no magic mantle. I just want to shove this wave in. He's got no mana in a second here. There we go. I missed three. He missed like ten. <laughs> all right, I win. He has no potions left, and he used all of his mana. And I can just sit here and heal back up with my Doran shield. That's why Doran's is a pretty standard start in poke matchups. Doran against poke matchups, if you're going to get like a melee all-in matchup, you want Doran's blade. Sorry, Doran's shield against poke matchups. If you're going to go against a melee all-in matchup, you want like Doran's blade. I mean, you can still go with Doran's shield too. There's the trade, baby. The bread and butter trade. Oh my god, dude. That's a lot of gifted subs. <laughs> dude, I was memeing. <laughs> oh my god. Revos, you, you are a legend, my friend. I made a joke about, uh, I forgot to run ads, so someone better give me 10 subs. <laughs> the madman actually does it. Oh my god. Ooh. Uh, I think I'm okay here. Oh. D don't get too excited about that play. I... Played it really badly. If I didn't miss my Q, but he should have flashed my Q. But he didn't flash. I was waiting on him to flash. Well, whatever, it's fine. I want him to flash so I can flash follow. That's normally how it works. Like, my Q is going to hit, he flashes, I flash follow. But he never flashed, so it kind of was awkward. But I still make it work. Let's get out of here, though. Alright. Interior crocodile alligator. That's a whole lot of subs. I'll see you later. <laughs> Thank you, my guy. Appreciate that, boys. Remos, my man. Ten gifted subs. You're a legend, dude. I really do appreciate that. Got that kill just for you, pal. Now we're dominating. So let's look at and pay attention to our movement speed as I'm running back to lane. This is why this thing is so powerful. People people always forget, like, well, if I get forced out of lane and I have to run back to lane, that takes time, right? It takes me 30 seconds to run back to lane. If I get this, it's taking me, like, 20 seconds to run back to lane, right? So I'm shaving time off. I'm getting better, more efficient backs. This is a horrible play. What are you doing? Okay. This man is invading with his mid laner and his top laner in base. That was not a good choice, sir. Oof. I could have went the magic resist route this game, but I kind of just want to show you the raptor cloak. <laughs> I didn't get my W off in time. I'm just gonna walk away here. All good. Got ult now. His friend's still here. I wonder how close TF is to ult. Oh, this guy has to be close to ult too then. If I just hit my ult, he's probably super close, yeah? The other nice thing about Raptor Cloak is it got HP regen. Look at that. 125% base HP regen. That's why I'm ticking up like crazy right here. Seven health back a second. Wow. I'm just chilling. This wave's gonna slow push to us, we'll be full HP. And look at how far away the movement speed buff is from this. And then you can get it and like, so it's a ramp up and a ramp down thing. So we're right next to it, it ramps up, and then we can use it. Look how far away it goes, look how far away it goes, look how far away it goes. All the way out into the middle of the lane, we can use that buff. That's a lot of value. So it's really good in some matchups that are like poke heavy, right? Because we can use it to reduce the poke damage. Say we're against a Jace, right? We can use it to reduce the poke damage. We can use it to heal through the poke damage, right? Over time. Healing over time. 
And then we can use the movement speed to all in those range champions when they're poking us under tower. Very good item. I'll go through some uh, combos now. Actually, I really want one plate. If I get one plate, I can get my boot upgrade. That's god tier here. I mean, ideally, I want phage, but... I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Get the heal. Get on out. Um, I think I'm okay. I'm trying to be greedy, I think. I might be too greedy here. Hmm. I think I'm okay. Oh, did my stacks fall? No, we're good. His attack speed slow is good, but it doesn't do anything if I, uh, if I have an auto attack reset, which I do. This is probably stupid of me to do. I don't know why I'm here. I'm just asking to get myself killed. They have a cane, dude. He can run through walls. He might have boots and mobility. I haven't seen him in a while. Let's just get out. That's dumb. They also have Zerath. Zerath could like path over here and like ult me. Let's not let's not die stupidly. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to get five more gifted subs in the chat. Dream sequence coming in hot, my man. Jesus, boys. I appreciate the love. Holy moly. The Penta gift now. My God. Appreciate it, my man. Whew. Dude, we are dominating this guy. This is a favorable matchup for Darius if you play it correctly. It can also go bad, though. Uh, it's kind of bad. They got split, like, really hard. Okay, whatever. Anyways, so 433 move speed as you run off to this guy. But now we have Phage as well. We don't want to keep this fight going. There's too many minions around. Come on, ward down. Too many minions around for that one. I'm going to wait for him to go for this minion. Okay. I want to try and sync all this together. So as he walks up, I kill this minion, get movement speed, run at him, auto W, Q for the fast combo, auto again, auto E, auto R, auto. And that is like literally perfect Darius right there. So use the minion that I'm killing right there to give me 60 movement speed. So right as he goes in, I go in for the minion, I kill the minion. 60 bonus movement speed. Use that bonus movement speed to get into range of him. Auto attack. Cancel that wasted animation of the auto attack with the W, right? Auto W. Get it quick. And waste that animation with our Q. So it's a fast combo. If you don't know about... I mean, I explain this every time I play Darius, but it's always good to give people refreshers. It's auto WQ. See how fast that went off? You didn't even see me W, but the damage went through. It's auto WQ. And if you get good and you get more attack speed, you can auto and cancel your autos faster. So auto W, right? Instead of auto, wait, auto, wait, it's auto, auto. Because it's an auto attack reset. And each one applies a stack. So auto W, that'd be two stacks. Into the immediate Q, that'd be three stacks. We right click him after we Q. Make sure you do that. A lot of people press their Q key and don't right click after. You get an instant auto attack after. So it's auto, W, Q. Right click the person while you're queuing. You get the instant auto attack. That's four. Then what do we do? Right after... Right as that auto goes, we cancel that wasted animation with E, auto E. Then what do we do after the E? We auto attack one more time, auto R. Then we auto one more time. Very simple, very simple. So now we're gonna sit on the Raptor Cloak and we're just gonna go into this. Uh, kind of have two options. This guy does attack speed uh, reduction, so I don't really wanna build attack speed. I should have pinged this for him. The guy was sitting right here. I thought he was paying attention. Like I was literally blabbering and I knew it. I should have pinged it though. There's no reason not to. I mean, it's not on you. It's not your fault that they die to stuff like that. Because he was sitting on a ward. He literally walked over here and cleared a pink ward or some shit. Like, he was clearing a ward or something. So it's not on you. But you can definitely help out. Like, it doesn't hurt you to say, hey, you're going to die. <laughs> they might die anyways. They might not listen to your call. That happens all the time. But I should I should, I should have helped him. Just pinged out where he was. I just thought he saw it. So that little move back you do as you E, I don't know if you were paying attention, but I E'd him and then my first step was back a little bit and then I auto W'd and then did my fast combo. But the first play was back. Um, we're gonna let him get that. I'm gonna push this wave under. We should probably time this together. Auto 
W. See that auto right after? That's why you right click. Um, I think we should just die, my friend. I need you here, brother. Uh, okay. Ooh, I was a little bit under tower still. I think we should have dove him. I'm very strong right now. House was over there. Good bud. Just keep poking him. He went straight armor, so that means our R is gonna do a ton of damage. But we're level 10 right now. Level 10 is one of your weakest points in the game, in my opinion. Level 11, ridiculously strong. But level 10, you still have rank one ultimate. Look at how little damage. 231. What the? F what is that? This man has a shield for more than that. Okay, maybe not. His shield's for. 118 I think right now but come on I'm it's basically ulting for half of his shield are you kidding me and he's weak right now that's like not even a scion shield that's what I mean it's terrible and it'll be higher because it goes off of uh, your AD the attack damage that you have and your Noxus might your passive you get bonus attack damage once you get five stacks so we get 75 extra attack damage when we have five stacks right so it's not like this is the actual damage it's going to do, because you're going to be dunking at 5 stacks. But it's, that's the maximum it will do with the current AD I have. If you add the 75 extra AD, okay, cool. It does 280 damage now. Whoa. Like, it's a little bit better, but it's still terrible. Wait till you see when we have level 11. Maybe when we have level 11, it's doing like 500 damage. It's night and day differently. It's night and day different. It's like actually, yeah. Oh, never mind. He's here. It's like actually an ability at that point. Oh, he canceled my auto. Or I cancel out. I'm probably just gonna shove this way back and get my Triforce here. Eh, that's not good. I can kind of deal with that, but it's gonna be hard. Ooh. Whew. Like I said, dude. 431. Add in the extra damage from this. It's doing 500. Let's go, baby. That's what we need. Going this, next item is going to be our Death's Dance. I don't know why I said that. Next item is going to be our Steric Gauge. There we go. Try again, Michael. Alrighty. Oh, baby. Bye bye. You're dead. Yep. Oh? Oh? Okay. I thought you were dead. I'm going to be angry that you didn't die, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not angry that you didn't die. Oh, dude, let's make a play on this guy here. Where are you going? Right here. Goofball, we gotta kill him. <laughs> Ooh. Bah! Get out. Bye. Oh, you're lucky, son. If you didn't throw that, that was a really good shot. If I was able to sidestep that a little bit better. Oh, he's trying to ult us. Initiation. Got one. Have those going. Auto. W. Run past here. Look for Q. There it is. Beautiful. I'm a big boy this game. I can carry. Alright, let's uh, push your top tower. It's very close to being dead. This is great because this guy's going to be able to free farm and bot. Auto W. Hopefully this guy doesn't die in mid. He doesn't. Nice. We take out so fast with Triforce. Okay. It's important to stay on the side of fights until you can start popping off. Once you start popping off and you can slam your R down on a bunch of people, then it's fine to like go ham and just run in there. But we had to stay safe a little bit. Just do a quick combo, wait for a second rotation, then go back in once everybody actually collapses in. Uh, we're going to get boot upgrade here and we're going... Ooh, probably Merc Chances came on. I took Tenacity. Still probably Merc Chances came on. Hmm, I don't know, man. You can make the case for needing... Yeah, okay. Alright. You can make the case for it. I'm gonna go bot here. They don't have teleport, which is a little of the dream. That it is, my man. That it is. 
Yo, radio player, thanks for the three gifted subs and dream sequence. Thanks for another gifted sub, my man. Goddamn. Appreciate it, boys. TYTY. -ty. Ooh. Demolishing this guy. Even, uh, you still get the movie speed near dead towers as well, so look at. Goddamn. 468. I am so fast. I'm building this item way more often. People used to always do it, and to me it always felt like something you'd do if you're having a bad game. Like, it felt like, oh, I'm getting shit on, I gotta get a raptor club. Aww. But I don't know, man, if you have any difficulty in the lane at all, people started doing it against me when I played Renekton vs. Darius, and I started doing that on my main as well, and it's just so easy to win the matchups, because all of a sudden you're way tankier, that movement speed is so huge, it just gives you a whole bunch of things that you want. The movement speed, it gives you the uh, regen, it gives you the armor that you want. Just so damn good. Oh, I still got hit there. That's bad. <laughs> I think they have a pink in that bush. Um, I don't fully want to split. I'm here. It's kind of bad for us. Oh, I can't really not catch him. Oh, nice job, dude. Auto, WQ. Dunk. I'm gonna move here. I think it's gonna be right here. Ooh. Man. Oh, I'm gonna be CC'd forever. Oh my goodness, dude. I should have tenacity too. That's the worst. Oh, I thought that one caught me. My God, get me out of here! Ridiculous. Ooh, plants up. Did you get that as well? Someone has to stay and push another wave. I'm gonna sit in this corner. You still it's done. Just run past it. Q here. I guess he has flash. Yep. Auto W. Come on, son. Give me the goddamn kill. Did all the work for it. Oh, you have a pink ward. Okay. I was going to look for the grab, but... Yeah, no thanks. Uh-oh. Alright. I want to back. I have 2k gold. They should be able to wave clear these two. Although, they did nerf that champion's wave clear by quite a bit this, this patch. The Silas. And this guy's playing support, so he has like no damage. It's not a very useful character. I don't know why he stole that kill from me over here. Seemed kind of dumb. Alright, um. What else can I explain about Darius? Went over the fast combo. Went over how you want to weave in auto attacks. Hmm. I guess we can talk about, like, transferring your stacks. The most important thing is just getting your passive, because then you can spread it. So some fights you want to... Some fights you want to focus on just executing, like, KSing with your R, right? Because if you KS, you get your passive. And your passive is going to give you a ton. 105 attack damage right now. That's crazy. I have a flash, but you only have one guy here with me. Oh my god, they're all standing on top of each other. I'm going to flash and kill them all. Oh, yeah. I want to flash so bad, but they, they all just missed their abilities. We don't have enough people around. <sighs> I want to flash so bad! <laughs> Alright. Interesting. I can't actually defend that, unfortunately. It's kind of annoying. I don't really think we want TF splitting, but... That was weird. Oh, you have it up again! I'm actually dead here. Uh, uh, I was focusing on comboing. That was dumb. Ooh, yikes. I was focusing on comboing this guy. I didn't think Lux had a cooldown again. She just shot out to you and missed. Oh, they surrendered? What the fuck? What? That's kind of shocking. 
they have a way better team fight, and our team was AFK split pushing. Like, I'm a little bit surprised they surrendered. They definitely had way more of a chance than they think they had. I was getting nervous we were about to lose the game. Like, I was just about to type to my team, like, guys, we got to group together. If we split, they're just going to immediately engage on us with Malphite every single time. Like, we can't be splitting. We have to all stay together because they're just going to ult every time. I shouldn't be split off on the side like that. I need to be under a tower so if they do engage on me, they're not getting as much value. I even flashed away and then I, like, stayed to fight the guy. That was stupid. I could have just dipped. <clears throat> wow, I'm really surprised they surrendered. <coughs> mm, I'll get to this, dude. That's so weird, dude. I mean, I'll take it, but mid top difference, I guess. I don't know. I'm surprised they surrendered that. Like, we really, like, I'm the only one that's doing that great, you know? Oh, no, this guy's doing solid. He's doing solid, too. Eh. I don't know, man. I wouldn't surrender that one. With an ADC that's got five kills and the ability to actually have a front line. You have Kane, dude. You have so much scaling. You have double binds. It's more of a mental thing, I think, most of the times in League of Legends. Like, games like this, you really shouldn't surrender. Well, you're not that far behind. I wish I could see the gold graph in this one, but you can't, unfortunately. Because I, I, I think they're only down, like, a couple thousand gold right now. Eh, okay, maybe it's, like, four or five thousand. <laughs> I don't know, man. Anytime you have a shitload of CC, I don't think you should give up. Crowd control wins games, and the amount of picks they have... Look at this guy. He ults in. This guy hits a Q. This guy hits an E. This guy can trap under any of this stuff. This guy can go through walls and W knock up anybody to CC in combination with these guys. They have, like, endless binds. All you have to do is just AFK and wait. Eventually, you'll hit some bind, and you can follow up on that and get your free kills. Like, they went all in on Darius, which is probably not the best idea. Because, like, yeah, they killed me, but I ate a whole bunch before they did. And then my team was able to come through and clean them up. Again, if you have a lot of CC, I wouldn't really give up on the game. Those are like the games I feel the most confident in coming back from is when I have a lot of CC. Because that's that's really what win games. Because people play dumb all the time, and all you got to do is catch one person out, and it's over. That's it. You CC one guy, and then you chain up and CC the next guy. And then one guy wasn't even there because you started the fight with a good timing, right? It was four against five or something like they tried to do there, right? I don't know, man. You just got to pick your targets a little bit better. You probably don't want to ult the tank guy. But anyways... GG, well played. Whew. If you're watching over on YouTube right now, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching over on the live stream right now, make sure to follow the live stream and click to see if you have a free Twitch Prime sub up at the top of your screen. It's right next to the follow button you just clicked anyways. But yeah, also you can connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and get Twitch Prime for free. Also, you should check out my highlight channel, SRO Highlights, where I post every other day at 3 p.m. EST. A new video, it's like three games on my main account put together, edited together with all like the action points. But yeah, anyways, GG Web Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time and I'll catch you guys then. Peace.